three, two, one. What's crack lacking? It's your boy Baroshmo, just in case you did not know. So we're back again, once again, for another mock draft. This time we're doing the Philadelphia Eagles, and this is probably the one that's the most, uh, or at least my opinions towards, is the most divisive among uh, listeners and such, because I really think that they should go try to make an effort to get into the quarterback market in this draft class. Uh, uh, that's just my opinion. I don't think Hertz is the option, and I think he, even if you're like, I'll oh, give him one, give him a test run, I think he keeps you out of the top 10 next year since your divisions. Again, it's one of the weaker divisions in football, but I think he keeps you out of the top 10 and gets you out of that quarterback market unless without trading up. So it's just my opinion to go out there and go get a guy, but. Uh, in this mock draft, uh, I will concede. I will be like, hey, if if like Zach Wilson or Justin Fields somehow fall to me, then fine. If not, then we'll probably end up going receiver, corner. Depends how the board falls. But we're going to take a look at free, uh, free agency, see what they can and can't do. So I can kind of get an idea of how I should draft or how I should draft for the uh, Eagles but go ahead become a bro and subscribe leave that nice pretty little thumbs up if you enjoy the content we'll be streaming later today doing a walk the mock so if you're a premium member on walk the mock come join me and uh, pick a team to draft for and draft against me it's real fun there but uh, without further ado man let's uh, go ahead and get into the nitty-gritty if you aren't a premium member and want to become one on walk the mock Go ahead and use the promo code BROSHMO, all caps, gets you 20% off. So if you if that's something you do want to do, then hey, go ahead and do it. Leave a comment on the video as well. It helps, uh, helps the video out a ton. And go get involved in that nice, sensual football discourse. We've got a great community. But let's go ahead and look at their free agent situation because it's not pretty for the Eagles. Uh, they're not bringing back Jackson. We kind of knew that. Uh, Jalen Mills, I think will be hard to bring back. Like, it's really going to be hard to bring back any of their free agents. Uh, luckily, I don't think they have any real major ones. Maybe Nikel Roby Coleman is a big one. I think Mills might be their biggest though. But let's take a look at this. I know they're under, they're at like 40 something over the cap. Uh, and this was I got them to 30 by doing some moves because they they're getting they got rid of Jeffrey at least I think they did let's just undo that just in case they didn't um, brings 26 I think they're gonna trade Ertz at least it sounds like they want to uh, Derek Barnett man he costs like 10 million to keep on the roster you could f free yourself of dead money so I think that's a no brainer. Uh, then also got Marquise Goodwin, who's four million with no um, no dead money, or at least resulting in no dead money if you cut him. Even then, man, they gotta make plenty of more moves. I can't see them being active in free agency. So, th it, I'm sorry, Eagles fans. Definitely feels like you might be in the midst of a rebuild. I mean, I guess you are after uh, the Carson Wentz trade. I guess there, there's really no. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I, you're in a rebuild. <laughs> well, let's go ahead. Let's get into this sucker. And we're sitting here at six. Uh, if trades are offered to me, I may or may not take them. I'm not going to actively seek them, though, in this mock. So, yeah, really, it, the only way I think I take a quarterback at six, if it's Fields or Wilson, <laughs> maybe even Trevor Lawrence, right? In what world? But outside of that, I think we stay put. We take uh, hopefully maybe Chase or um, maybe even Pitts if he's around. But let's go ahead. Let's do the dang thing. Er, okay, it's falling. Yep, as expected. The Dolphins want to trade up. What the heck? Uh, the Panthers want to trade. Well, let's decline that. The Bears want to trade up. Oh, that's a that's a lot of draft capital. a lot of draft capital jamar chase is off the board uh pitts isn't though but i'm not gonna lie to you i think this trade's worthwhile a train back's probably the best scenario so we're gonna accept this trade 
Uh, Pitts probably would have been the pick then. All right, man. Just watching how this falls as it comes to our pick. Sean Bateman would be excellent. Uh, I'm going to decline. That. Yeah, I'm going to decline that. Decline that. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a lot of picks, but I think uh, Bateman went with the pick ahead of us, unfortunately. Yo, Mac Jones. Oh, nah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's 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 look at what's available here. Uh, Kadarius Tony, I think, is tempting, but I mean, then you're dealing with we don't got a lot of size here at the receiver position, so maybe uh, Terrace Marshall, perhaps. Um, looking at offensive line, offensive interior, Elijah Barrett Tucker wouldn't be bad. Uh, I really feel like we can't do anything offensively here, though. I mean, Terrace Marshall, it's kind of a diamond in the rough, man. Size and speed. Yeah, that might be it, man. I mean, I got, I, I know he's like 39th on my board. Oh, I love Aziz too. I don't know how how well he fits this. I mean, they. Oh man, this will be interesting. This will be interesting. Rousseau. I mean, there's a lot of upside with Rousseau. Uh, no pick come easy. No pick come easy. Yeah, I think at this point you just accept you're in a rebuild. So we're taking we'll, we'll be taking guys that might not even um uh, that probably might not be good year one. So we'll go Terrence Marshall, man. Cause I mean Jalen Jalen Rager, he's kind of your small speedy guy. So we're getting Terrence Marshall. Uh maybe getting someone underneath though. Would be big. Oh, this is tough. Rashawn Bateman would have made this pick a lot easier. Why, Bateman? Why you do me like that? Santi Samuel's not bad. This is this sucks. This trade back. There's like immediate regret right now. Hmm. Elijah Vera Tucker's decent, decent enough value here. Oh, maybe grabbing an edge since Barrett's gone. Oh, jeez. All right, really, really, really considering options here. I mean, I'm kind, I'm typically a value guy anyway. Take a look, Gander, at how their pass rush went last year. Hargrave was solid. Graham was solid, of course. Yeah, they weren't. I mean, Sweat's good in a rotation role, but. Oh, man. Maybe take. You know what? Yeah, let's let's take an edge here, man. It's better value. Well, let's go with Jason. Oh, wait. Let's keep him in the state. Uh, it's just a better value than Marshall. Maybe Marshall's around for our next pick. There goes more. There goes another more. Oh, Jalen Jalen Phillips would be a guy to consider as well. Wow, Mac Jones still around. Ooh man. Second round shot, maybe? Uh Trevon Merrig would be good here too. Uh, and then our next pick isn't for quite some time. I mean, it's a good safety class. Let's go ahead. We're just going to grab Marshall. Elijah Vera Tucker being here. Holy moly, man. Because that offensive line might need a little, little, little bit of a youth movement. I mean, they get Brandy. 
Brandon Brooks back next year. It's really the left tackle position I might be the most. Alarm Dove? Maybe not. They had a lot of injuries along the offensive line. Yeah, let's just get receivers. Let's get playmakers. Uh, yeah. All right. They want us to move up. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to give away picks. We need all the picks we can get. I mean, to move up, Elijah Vera Tucker still be on the board really complicates things. I don't know if he necessarily fits the scheme, though. Uh, there's some good defensive interior talent on the board. I, I think it's fine. It's fine. I mean, Merrick's still around. That's wild. Oh. Oh, there he goes. Wow, man. Just a pick before us. Man, Washington, dude. What division rivals? They just snagging it on us, man. Oh, uh, like Landon Nickerson is not a bad option for the future. Because what Travis Kelsey, man, what he is 33. So, I mean, if we are treating this like a rebuild, it's not bad to get rebuild, you know, to get options for that rebuild. Tyson Campbell is not a bad pick here either. Um, I think it's uh, I like Osa a lot, but I think we're fine. Uh, Richie Grant be fun. I think I really, I, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I re I'm really thinking Landon Dickerson. I know it doesn't really fill a need or anything. Um, did Pat Fryermuth fly off the board already? Yeah, he did. Um, it's not a need right now, but but uh, Jason Kelsey is up there in years. Landon Dickinson can't even start, probably won't even be able to start next year. So, I don't think it's a bad pick. It's good value. I think the only other way I go, like Richie Grant's very compelling. Gosh, his versatility is so clutch. I think I talked myself back into Richie Grant. Let's do that, dude. He dude can play in the slot, play in the box, and play deep. That's just clutch versatility. Tyson Campbell's a good fit for the Colts. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm not trying to trade back up right now. Oh, my guys went off the board already. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, oh, ooh, this one's a bit interesting, actually. I mean, it moves us back. It's, um, mm. nah, 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 nah. We're okay. We're okay. Let's take a look at what we got here. Oh, our Darius, Wa our Darius Washington would be nice. Uh, Jackson Carmen, that guy. I, I bet you that guy's climbing some boards right now. Oh, Greg Newsom. I don't know if he's here in the third, but he he'd be a good fit. I don't know, man. That's another guy's stocks kind of rising in this crazy corner class, man. Uh, him here at 70. I mean, he could go as early as maybe like, what, 28. Um, I could maybe see him in the second round. But since he's here, we'll go ahead and take him. So, really address the defense a ton. Uh, all right, all right. Jalen Mayfield's still around, too. Oh, look at this. We got back-to-back -back picks. Decline that. Decline that. Um, Jalen Mayfield, I think, will get overdrafted. Uh, not necessarily. If he's taking the second round, that's fine. So I don't think he'll realistically be here. So we could look at a couple of other areas. Uh, like, who else is? Oh, man. Uh, Deontay Smith's not bad. 
but you know he's a developmental guy. We got back-to-back -back picks here. Let's get some good value at the very least. Uh, yo, Jamie Newman. Dude, I'm a sucker for Jamie Newman. I'm sorry. I am. I am. Uh, Paris Ford. I think he's like a slot only, man. Oh, Joe Tryon? Ah, that's another guy I think is going to go a little bit higher. Actually, I've raised him a little bit on my board, too. Um, Jalen Darden be interesting. Marvin Wilson. Um, or dare realistically, third round probably be our Darius spot. Dude, really addressing the like the defense though. I feel like I'm leaving the offense out to dry, man. I mean, these are back-to-back -back picks, so that's fine. Let's take our Darius Washington here. Um, could play safety as well. Doesn't necessarily have to early, though. Uh, I'm assuming Joe Tryon's not on the board. I mean, we already went with Owe anyway. Jamie Newman's compelling, but am I really trying to start another quarterback controversy? Like, for reals? I mean, he is be he is better, Jalen Hurts. Um, just Jalen. I mean, guys fall, man. Jalen Mayfield. He hasn't been entirely like I think in Mel Kiper's last mock, he wasn't even in the first. But to make it to the third, I don't know about that. Like, I think the NFL is going to be a bit a bit higher on him than I am. Guaranteed. Though I can see Paris four here, but we just went with Washington. Um, like Kay Johnson, like more receivers isn't a bad thing. Tryon, I really think will go higher, man. People are really drooling over that cat's physical tools. Uh, all right. So the interior of our line, they, I mean, they like adding, they like having a rotation there. Well, they did it's new management now. So who, who really knows? Uh, let's, let's take a look at this linebacker class real quick. Jamin Davis, honestly, be kind of a lit pick here. Uh, what what's our tackle? We could probably get Smith a little later, right? Nah, I'd be kind of risky to wait for Smith, man. When's our next pick? One fifty one? No way. Really? 151 one. Wow, that's really our next pick. One 151. So if we like Smith as a developmental guy, because I mean it's gonna be Andre Dillard there. Or we could just trust Dillard. Kay Johnson comes in, can immediately kind of be a contributor in the slot. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So far, uh, this is a good draft, man. It's a lot of talent. Uh, this is, I mean, a lot of guys I'm high on, too. Uh, it's going to be interesting uh, who's going to be left with. Yeah, there goes Mayfield. <laughs> Real late. Uh, Deont if, I don't think Deontay Smith or Jamin Davis. Uh, I'm kind of cool with Monty Rice, too, if he ends up being around there. But I doubt those guys will be around. Um, Toy Peloto would be nice. And just kind of watching this. I mean, we're 30 picks away. I mean, we're realistic. Davis Mills. Fourth round. I expect him to be be gone soon. Yeah, there he goes. Ooh, I like Robert Jones too. Kellen Mond. Uh, not exactly the biggest fan of the Mond. The monster. Alright, here we go. Oh, Seth Williams, Cameron 
Cameron Byron won't be bad either. Semi for Hoko. Um, oh, linebacker position looks like it's all but dried up. Like Kenny Britt, he would he would be a good two down linebacker. Uh, and I know they have Davion Taylor there. He'll hopefully, kind of be more of a coverage guy. I mean, you get a run stopper here. I don't know. He doesn't exactly offer much in coverage. Um, looking at the tight end, uh, Paul John's a good tight end too, but too little, too late. We didn't do anything to tackle, did we? It just, it just didn't happen that way, man. It just didn't happen that way. Uh, let's take a look at the, okay. The interior, they're Borum. Hmm. David Moore wouldn't be bad either. He's got to come moving up lists. Uh, I think we go KJ Britt, man. He, he's kind of like, you can start immediately. Uh, Joshua Kando got huge upside. Trey Walker's basically what John Hightower, but like two inches shorter. Uh, Cameron Bryant, I mean, we could, we could just keep adding quarter depth. I mean, Bynum does fit the scheme. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Man, we've really gone all out on defense. Uh, what, we only have one. We've only drafted offense twice. Holy moly. If Larry Bora makes it back to us, I wouldn't mind picking him. Or Sedarius Hutcherson. I like him a lot, too. Oh, there goes Hutcherson. Oh, those dreams lasted all of no time. Right, here comes our next pick. Oh, man. Um, yeah, that's a bit too rich for me. Uh, I don't, Chadon Heron is not, is not, is not a half bad option. Like the guy, keep in mind, he is developmental. Um, like he can play tackle, but dude, his like upside is so, it's delicious. It's delicious. But you know, you're dealing with a guy you got to develop. Um, yeah, let's go for it, man. Let's go for it. I mean, you got to assume some of these defensive prospects will hit. You can maybe add another running back, too. There's no harm in that. Um, oh, what's the tight end? Is Paul John still? Oh, there's tight end class fresh out. Fresh out of tight ends. Um, actually, that's not necessarily true because I know Luke still available, right? No, nah, he's gone too. Wow, dude, they they like go in on this class? Oh my gosh! Well, shoot. Dang, dude. Tight ends flew off the board. Interesting. Um, Elijah Mitchell, man. His size translates. Hawkins kind of a home run. Yeah, let's go with the home run threat, man. Oh, uh, Routry's kind of another guy that with a uh, size that translates well. All right. Another pick. We're picking for value, baby. Demi Kiji be kind of fun like he'd be another guy that's a potentially good uh rotation player i mean we're we're here at the end or in the seventh round you don't want to deviate about uh too far off your board with uh 
as far as like you want to draft value you don't want to be reaching you don't reach for a need in the later rounds uh i mean you get depth but you also want to kind of get guys that are high on your board guys that you think have a, maybe a bit of upside here and there um Tariq thompson mm, i feel like i should move him up a bit good slot guy uh yeah i'm gonna go with dimikiji and any more picks for us to end this draft off man these teams with a bit more picks Ooh. i mean to be fair we acquired a lot in that trade all right all right so we did one trade which i think i should just start doing one trade but they offered a heck of a lot dude uh the bears moved up six to get Devontae smith wow uh and we got jason owe we got richie grant or darius washington and then we get a third round in the following draft wow man that that is pretty darn good value but let's take a look at our draft class uh ooh, so we ended up having what 11 players in this draft class jason owe was great value um especially since we got rid of barrett uh terrence marshall we were able to get there with the 37th pick which is very nice so we got our bigger um receiver but he does got some speed don't don't sleep on that richie grant very versatile he can play deep box slot Greg Newsom's a good scheme fit. Assuming they still kind of stick to like a uh, cover three esque scheme. I mean, he's good off ball, um, off coverage corner. Or Darius Washington, you could have started immediately in the slot, but I think he can play, um, play on the back end. He's got some scary instincts. K Johnson's a good slot option, just good quicks. KJ Britt is a run stop in linebacker, but. I mean, I think they, they could probably use that. Uh, Cameron Bryant, Bynum, another guy off ball or off coverage. Uh, who does have some press ability. Don't get me wrong. Heron, athletic and physical upside out the wall. Zoom in, just doesn't have a lot of reps under his tape. But he has ton of, like, at no, not a lot of reps at one position. He played all over that BYU offensive line. Uh, Hawkins is just home run threat uh we got late as well as dimikiji just a good body man to have in the seventh round so i think we did pretty good but let me know what you think in the comment section below and that's it for the video go ahead do that youtube theme and until next time you be easy my friends later